Have any of y'all ever slept in a hammock before? Oh. Well, it's been an eventful night. <clears throat> you can hear Zan. He's right out there. He tried to keep me awake all night. Between Zan and Gus, our duck. For some reason, they were in and out of the barn all night last night. Now, you might be wondering, why in the heck I slept in the barn last night? <clears throat> well, let me tell you. I got a serious problem. This door we were supposed to reuse and put in there. I'm supposed to just cut it out here, stick it in over there. Easy peasy, not a big deal. Well, this door has been jimmy rigged, had 10,000 nails put in it, completely sun rotted. I mean, look at this. It is, this wasn't even from me, and it is like completely falling apart. So now we're stuck with the serious problem of now we have two huge, huge huge holes in our house with nothing to plug them with. Oh my gosh, this is not good. And if that wasn't enough, Marcy's gonna be back in like 30 minutes. Hey Marcy, here's your alarm. You didn't do anything. Well, I didn't do anything. We are not sleeping like this. No, absolutely not. We have a dog house had a dog house we have a dog house but it is very small and the ducks use it so there wasn't any room for me to be in there so instead I was stuck sleeping with Zan in the barn I'm not sure if I can go back in the house yet so I think I'm gonna just uh, see if maybe we got some eggs and I think I'll just start a fire have a fire and cook me some eggs. Hopefully there are some. Oh yes. One, two, looks like we got a couple. I'm gonna grab these, we'll start a fire and we'll fry them up. Good morning, Zan. I hope I never have to sleep with you again. Don't know how many of you guys have, oh gosh, slept in a barn, slept with animals. First of all, it stinks in there. All of the poop and crap. Second of all, animals are kind of noisy, especially when you're trying to sleep. And I didn't know if it was Zan or the duck or a raccoon or a possum or heck, a skunk. You guys, we just got our first chicken egg. <laughs> heck yes. Okay, this terrible morning, just got slightly better. I got the two quail eggs, but as you guys know, quail eggs are tiny. And this egg ain't much bigger, but it is our first egg from our chickens. Look at that! Our first egg. Clearly God must know what I'm going through and he decided to bless me this morning with uh, a bunch of eggs to eat. <sighs> I left the propane out and it rained. How ironic is it that I'm burning a sheetrock mud box trying to get a fire for my breakfast? It also rains, so it's very wet. Okay, I rearranged the fire because clearly that wasn't working. Like I said, it rained. Oh, wow. Hi, Gussie. That was pretty cool. I did find some dry leaves, I think, though, so that'll help. Got my pan and three beautiful eggs for breakfast this morning. Gussie, you want to come to breakfast? You kept me up all night, you know that, right? 
Here comes your boyfriend. How are we doing under there? Whew. It's working. Well, that works surprisingly well. One egg, expertly cooked. In case you guys can't tell, I'm completely joking about this whole thing. Marcy did not make me sleep out in the goat pen last night. She wanted to, but she didn't. She was just completely caught off guard that I had done that project. So I got it completely taken care of. We're actually gonna head to Lowe's. Um, she wants to go with me to go pick out the door to make sure I get the right one, I guess. Uh, so we're gonna head to Lowe's and go get the door and hopefully we should be able to get it put on there without too big of an issue. And, uh, and then we'll be able to get her laundry room done. Okay, y'all, we made it to Lowe's. Trying to get this figured out and sorted, like we said. And I looked online to see if they had a door, and they may or may not. We don't really know. So we had to come and just test it out, make sure. Maverick's, Maverick's had a hard day. Really hard day? Really hard day. But Maverick, what is that? He's just so excited to see the forklift. Well, let's run in there and see if we can solve our problem. Maverick loves Lowe's because of the forklift. Where is it? What is it? Say hi. So, funny marriage thing or life thing, I don't know. If Marcy pushes the stroller or the cart, where are you going? Doors are right here. If Marcy pushes the cart, she walks way faster. Well, so I she always can pushes. Put my weight on it too, and right now I'm in quite a bit of pain. <laughs> I didn't tell her she had to come to the store. She said she wanted to. Yes, we like getting out of the house. So I had to bring Marcy to the store to pick out the door because I know if I do it, I'd mess it up. Well, no, you'd end up with one without a window. True. Mm -hmm. So I think we found it, actually. I found it. I just want the credit because look how far away that is. I cannot actually see, but I can tell the L versus the R apart. And I think that says right hand. There's actually two of them, yeah. which online says they don't have any. So Marcy and did I the impossible. A, I think there's actually two more right there. Oh, you're right. No, those ones don't have a, but those ones do. Yeah, those ones. Oh, they have four of them. And again. Nice. <laughs> now if we can get somebody to help us, we'll be set. The lady over there says she's been waiting for 30 minutes, so we're gonna we're gonna make sure this gets sorted. But I'm also really worried. I thought I measured it, and it was 36 inches. But now I'm like second guessing if it was actually 32 or 36. So we're gonna buy the 36, and if it doesn't work, I'm literally gonna have to drive an hour home and drive an hour right back here to get the right one because I haven't told you guys we've been in a major drought here in Oklahoma for the last six months, no rain. Well, guess what? Tonight is supposed to rain and it's supposed to pour. So timing, not really my greatest ally on this one. So we gotta kinda do whatever it takes to get it done tonight. All right, y'all, well, that only took 10 years. Woo! The lines were long, the people were slow. We had to get a special tractor to go lift up and get the door out of the rafters up there. But we finally got it. And I think the score of the day was Marcy got a $60 mirror clearance for ten dollars so she's pretty excited about that what do you think of your mirror oh i'm so glad we got that yeah that was a uh, pretty dang good is it black or is it wood it's black which will go in mav's bathroom oh. or on that wall that we talked about yeah it's small but for ten dollars can be happier yeah. back to the house first things first i measured everything we got the right door that is like the biggest relief because I really didn't want to have to drive back there to go get the right door but we have the right door so we're good so first order of business we got to fill this gap with concrete and build us a curb so that this is the same level as this if that makes sense what we'll end up doing probably is actually taking out this entire concrete slab probably in a couple of years from now and then we'll actually build a step in but for now we just need it level so that our door will fit. So thankfully I have fast setting concrete so this shouldn't take too long once we get started.
new concrete curb expertly installed. We'll let that dry. It'll probably only take about 30 minutes and we'll be able to set the door in there. Start to frame out what we're going to do for that. Yo, it's coming together perfectly. So let me show you guys what we're dealing with here. You can see this top board sticks out an inch further than the brick. So we're just gonna notch around the trim here, all the way around, and then it should slide completely back and it will be flush with the brick like it is on the bottom. Okay, y'all, it's the next day. It got way too dark last night. But as you can see, the door is in and it is finished. Check this out. Ta-da! And it looks freaking good from the inside and the outside. I got to take down that board. That was just there to hold it. Since I was doing the job by myself, I put that up to hold it in place while I got it all secured. But now that it's all good, I guess I can take that down. Guys, I'm beyond excited. Let's go get Marcy and we'll see what she thinks. Okay, Mars, it's all done. Come take a look. That looks so good. Well, Doesn't it? Yeah, like the door looks so good. I'm glad we chose that door. I mean, yeah. I'm glad I chose that door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think it works perfectly. So good. Our door handle comes today, right? I think so, yeah. So we'll have the door handle today so we can get that finished. And then that'll be our first like really good functioning door. Like, be painted or no? Yeah, we can it is paintable. But so we can paint it. I can leave it. Yeah. No, we'll we'll paint it white. If we're gonna leave it, we'll still paint it. So it'll match okay. our trim. Okay, so it won't be like bluish. Yeah. Okay. Matt, do you like the door? I am so excited about this. So let me just tell you. This is a huge deal. I didn't expect it was going to get done. She didn't realize, she's been begging me to get the laundry room done. Yes. But she didn't realize what had to get done in order to get the laundry room done. I did. I did realize. But originally when we had talked about it, we had talked about doing it without putting the door in and then coming back later and putting the door in. So, there was just like a slight miscommunication. And I was in like <laughs> utter shock. But... What I'm so excited about is I have always wanted like a mudroom area and a place for Crandall to come in and put his hat and his shoes and all of that kind of stuff in a place where the next day he can find it and he didn't have to travel through the whole house. A lot of people are new to the channel, so let's just show you kind of, this is going to be a mudroom laundry room. So let's yes. just show you guys kind of what we're- So this is going to be a coat closet. The wall looks kind of crooked. It might be. So this it's built be by an amateur. Um, and then this is going to have a bench. Yeah, so there'll be a bench here and, and cabinet. Hooks. Yeah, hooks and then an upper cabinet or some floating okay, shelf or something. Yeah. And so that'll be like your mudroom bench area. And then you've got all this room in here to leave your shoes, do your shoes. We also have an outlet in the closet. For a boot warmer. For like a boot dryer, boot warmer kind of a thing. So that'll be sweet. And then this side is the washer dryer, which will actually get moved all the way against that wall. And we're going to put a sink here. Which hopefully, hopefully the sink will be here before the babies come. Because, because that's the most needed time. Yes. 
<laughs> I don't want to wash poopy clothes for two babies in our kitchen sink. I did that with Maverick and it was awful. I hated it because you have to move all the dishes to wash the clothes because I don't want the clothes to stain. So I'm so excited to have a sink in here. And then this door right here is actually a barn door, so it'll slide this way, which I'm really excited about. Crandall, in our first home, if you guys didn't know, we remodeled our first home, and Crandall built our closet doors, and they were barn doors, and they turned out so good. So I'm so glad we can do that again in here. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel already, go down and hit that subscribe and notification bell so that you guys don't miss the rest of our craziness on our complete house makeover rebuild. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll see you guys on the next one.